Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial for Blender Grease Pencil and Modifiers. Today we will try to grow some plants with Grease Pencil. And by the way, we will learn about some features of the build modifier. The first feature is how to add an object here and how to use it to control the building animation. And the second is about the fade options here. And the third, I guess, is about this weight output here that can be used to have some very cool and awesome effects. Before we start, please check my Gumroad. There are some paid files and some free files there and every file is connected to a free tutorial on this channel so enjoy and buy a file to support this channel maybe thank you very much so if you want to grow some plants in blender you better start drawing your strokes from the ground up not as i did here that to make your life easier you can maybe add some leaves some flower etc and have a more complex and better looking plant than this but if you maybe already had a drawing or maybe like me you didn't intend first to create these plants there is a way to correct the behavior of the building and that's by using the object here so i have this empty here and i can select the empty and now the building will start from the closest points to the empty so back to frame one let's play the animation again and you see that now our plants grow correctly we can even change the placement of this empty to wherever we want and our animation will start for example from the center if you want it to start from the center we can invert it to start from the top right. So let's get our empty here. I want it to start from the center and grow some plants here. And now let's try to make our plants look better. The first thing we'll do, let's select our grease pencil object again. We will enable the fade options. So what will this do is that in addition to the building, it will add a fade effect to the extremities. That fading can be using thickness. So the more you increase this, the less thick the extremity will be and can be also done using opacity. And the factor is like controls the smoothness or the length of this effect here, the fading effect. So the more you increase this, the more of the strokes it will take. It will even extend to multiple strokes as you can see. The opacity is here and extends to the other stroke here. And the less the factor is, the more confined that gradient or fading effect is. So we don't want this effect to extend much. I don't want also to use opacity. I will just use thickness because new plants are small in their extremity and then they get thicker the more they grow so now if we play the animation we have this effect we already have better looking plants and now we can do even more if you know newly grown plants the plant when it gets out of the soil it's not green it's sometimes yellow maybe even white maybe it's very light green and then when it's exposed to the sun the green gets darker and darker so to do that we will need this weight output this weight output field here is actually a weight generator that takes the data from the fading especially here i guess the factor and adds it to a vertex group you choose that vertex group should exist inside your grease pencil object we created one here and named it gen for generates you can name it anything you want and we will add it here now this group will contain the data from the fade in here and here we have this tint modifier that is disabled with this light green and under influence and the vertex group we add our gen group so now if we enable our modifier we see this so this is not what we want it seems that the vertex group or the build modifier or the generator will add more weight to the parts that have no fading and less weight to the faded parts but we want the opposite of this so what we do is we hit this button here to inverse the vertex group and now we have the effect we want what we need i think is 
the same button here besides the weight outputs because maybe you will have more than one modifier here and instead of going in each modifier and invert that effect you just invert it once here besides weight output so maybe that's a feature that could be added in the next version maybe so this is our cool effect here but let's add one more modifier a noise modifier maybe let's play with the thickness let's play with the noise scale so the modifier is still working on all the strokes because we didn't add our group under influence so let's add it and now you see that the growing part is smooth that is because we need also to invert the group so here we are here we have the noise only in the extremities it's not very visible so i guess i will increase the factor here to make it more visible and also maybe increase the position randomness and noise scale maybe the thickness also and let's play it again and we have this and you can do this with any of the modifiers that support vertex groups here any modifier can be used and you can create i don't know any number of effects with the build modifier thanks to this feature here the weight outputs it's really an awesome feature so this is it this is our video for today thank you for watching and see you in another video peace